Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast show on this Tuesday morning. And welcome to it. It is time for your youth, youth sports report on this Tuesday morning after a weekend where the best teams in the country solidified their places among the top when they recorded victories in their respective encounters. And let's take a look at what else happened across the country. Now, the South African school side capped off another fantastic international rugby series by defeating Wales 14-13 on Saturday. The class of 2013 emulated the achievements of their predecessors by winning all three of their matches, proving one once again, that South African schoolboy rugby is, is in a very, very healthy state. Now, Weinberg boys showed why they're considered the best team in the southern suburbs of Cape Town when they edged out Bishops 29-34. Oakdale recorded a famous victory over Boerland Lonbo, winning that encounter 29-10, while Battle Chim predictably defeated Stallenberg 34-3. Over in Stellenbosch, Paul Roos were unable to contain a very dangerous Grey College side who ran rampant to defeat their arch foes 48 on Saturday. And in the other matchups of the weekend, Paul Boys High, uh, uh, sorry, Paul Boys High rather, capped off a rather disappointing season to their high standards with victory over Hearty as Dorset today uh, on Saturday, 1926. The final score in that one. The boys in blue and white have struggled against the bigger teams this season, losing out in the physical battle against teams such as Battle Chim, Glenwood, and Grey College. But on Saturday, they rained down the curtains uh, <clears throat> on their season by displaying the kind of rugby which saw them defeat Paul Roos, Weinberg, and Rondebosch this season. Dos Day will now face Battle Chim in their last match of the season and will look to emulate the class of 2012 who were the only team to defeat the Chim Giants last year. And now for the classic clash in King Williamstown. The oldest rugby match in the Eastern Cape resumed this past weekend as Dale College and Queen's College met for the 171st time in their history on Saturday. Dale would open the scoring with a converted penalty early in the first half before Queen's College would hit back with a Simon Balls penalty and a Sikoke Lemgozi try on the stroke of halftime. The second half was pretty much the same with the teams trading tries in the third quarter of the match before a yellow card to Dale opened up the field for Queens to score their third and final try to win the encounter 23-10. And that's a wrap up of your sports news where the youth sport is concerned on this Tuesday morning. Right now, a lot more to come stick around with us. Uh, Ilana, what's happening in your neck of the woods? Expresso Youth Sport, brought to you by Deep Heat. Warms pain away.